<laughs> hey guys, Lakara Shura here, and goodness, I was not expecting uh, news for Beyblade X so soon. Uh, so and I had to get this out because I'm gonna be going out later on later today. So let's put this out. So last video at the very end, I was covering. This, the UX Bay for the new Dran Sword, or the new Dran Beyblade. And I was not expecting this morning to blow up, giving us the unique Extreme Bay so soon. Oh my gosh, I was expecting like probably Sunday or Monday, but here we are. The new Beyblade X Bay's. Unique extreme phase. <laughs> Dang, I was not expecting that. So we couldn't start with the Dran deck, the new Dran Buster One Sixty A. Oh gosh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's a large attack type, extreme instantaneous. Instantaneous attack warrants and a bit of a large gear and enhances performance of the X dash, making it specialized for the one shot attack power. So, yes, this is in fact a successor to Excalibur. But name wise, Transbuster makes a whole lot of sense. It's a one hit. One huge blade attack type. It makes it, it makes a lot of sense. I mean, an inspiration being the Buster Sword, like Final Fantasy VII here, and blocking. Yes, Grand Buster. That's a that's a. I actually speculated. The possibility on one of two names. Either it's going to be Dren Saber or Dren Buster. And Dren Buster was the name they picked. It's a perfect fit. Especially for what kind of sword, what kind of uh, type of use this Beyblade is going to be going for. I love it. It's sick. I'm definitely going to get this one. And then next is. The new Hell's Hammer. That one's very nice looking. Love it. Specialized in slamming opponents into the stadium with thick smash blade and high bit high, with a bit with a high posture retention performance. And if this this looks a lot like Strycock. <laughs> nice. Oh man, we're like the the fan base, the community we've been wanting to hear told me to try to make a Strikehawk Bay. And we're hoping the possibility that Hasbro was gonna make it. But turns out the character told me had the thought in mind the whole time with with Hell's Hammer. This is also in our, in our bay that looks nice. I love it. And then next, we have a wizard rod. And it says a ball-shaped bit with the outer center of gravity. A large diameter blade with a, with a disc-shaped weight. That extremely centrifugal force. And especially for durability. So, this has a bit more of a defense property. And I think we have some burst base design based after this. And you know what? <laughs> this, the bit could very well be used for Drusil S in the future. I'm not saying it's definitive, but that's that's a possibility. 
So the next one is the special stadium set. So it includes a special version of Dran's Buster, the Wizard Rod, two winders. This is the entry set. Uh, actually, funny enough, uh, the Zuma and I were talking about the entry set, but it turns out uh, the entry set was actually just the stadium. I thought we were, we were thinking about the, you know, the puny launcher, so... Uh, we're both wrong. I, I'm not sure if we actually were thinking on the same page there. I was thinking, thinking of a of the one with the Dren sword and the and the tiny launcher. I'm not sure. Can't remember. <laughs> we were talking about the entry set, but I did not think about this. So I'm pretty stupid. <laughs> So next up is the grips. Actually, there is also a string launcher, a white color. So that's cool. So it mix, works with mixed with the this one. And then and the same and then we have the red one. We have a red string launcher for Phoenix. Both of these are very nice looking. Uh, we knew for some time that there was gonna be some grip that attachments but I was not expecting to see a full set here right right away so that was unexpected but it looks nice and it looks like it's gonna have a nice grip to it so red and blue red and blue they look nice they actually look like something that Tyson and Kai would use Tyson would use this Kai would use that they work well enough <laughs> So yeah, so the recap, uh, Dran Buster, love it, it Hell's Hammer, it's probably actually the best looking unique extreme bay of the three, and Rizard Rod, yeah, it looks nice, they all look nice, I all, I like them all, and Unique X, as I figured, it is basically a gim a more gimmick oriented system. People are wanting gimmicks, and there we go. We're getting it. I'm so glad that this basically is a sub series, and this is what we're getting. So yeah, I got not much else to say until next time. Bye bye.